Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> My name Aaron, or you call me Bukusatsu, it does not matter who you call me. And I'm here to review well Well he's not a P band I figure, he's retail, but uh I'm here to review the S6 Figure Arts Sinkoku Seho Common Rider Rizzer 10th anniversary version. And what do I mean by 10th anniversary? Well this, if you can say, uh, this is tank, this is tank, this is technically a uh, reissue version of this, of the Wiz, of the Sinkoku Seiho Kamei Wizard figure art. Because last year was his, uh, 10th anniversary. And I bought this last year on Black Friday. For a good price too. I got this off Nin Nin by the way. And no I'm not sponsored by them. If I was. <laughs> go check them out. They're a very good store. They sell a lot of good tokusatsu toys there. And yeah. Coming all the way from Japan to your house. And yeah. Again I'm not sponsored or anything by them. I would love to be. But. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just telling you what they have. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, Wiz is here. Oh boy, this figure's good, but he's not amazing. Oh, it might be a hot take, but I just had to be honest. So let's talk about this, okay? This is how far he goes from, uh, well, from here to here to here to here. <laughs> Great, yeah. Great, and one of his uh, one of his rings came off. <laughs> Hold up. One, two, three. Not better. Be careful, these these things are so small; they like to pop off. This is how far his uh, his legs go. This is, how, this is how far I go from there too. His skirt is cloth, which is actually pretty cool. Because the first the first release of this figure had a cloth skirt as well, so yeah for that. It's showtime everybody. <laughs> I love this suit. Wizard as a show, in my opinion, is so underrated. I personally love it. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I think it's better than Gaim. That's just that's just my little hot take right there. But suit rise, I love this. The black and red, oh this looks so well. I love the I love the giant I love the giant hand at the driver. This is so cool. Also, the fact how the suit actor is Mr. Uh, is Mr. Heisei himself, Shinji. You know who I'm talking about. If you watch the Five movie, Five Train movie, you know who I'm talking about. It's the guy who been, it's the guy who was, it's the, it's the guy who been in all the Heisei suits, from Agito all the way to Zio. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, this this figure is pretty good. He's a little he, he he's a little bit well I can't say outdated. No, he's he's a little bit limited for articulation. But like posing him, you can do that. You just gotta be careful with how you pose him because he a, he's a little limited due to his skirt. I do love the details on the shoes. Being, <laughs> I do love that. That's uh, it's pretty cool. Now we're going. Now we're gonna go on to his accessories. Accessories. I don't know why I say it like that. All right.
right, on to the accessories. They got a lot of accessories. So, he has the stand that he comes with. I have not opened this stand by where you can tell. You can pose, oh, sorry. You can pose him on here if you want to. If you had like the 10th anniversary version of Decayed or Kruga or Ichigo, then, uh, then uh, you know that those come with this too. I had Decayed, but uh, yeah, I don't need this. It, this figure mainly stay on my, stay, stay on my Heisei shelf. And here are his accessories. So, yeah, he comes with a lot of accessories, all right. So he had the pieces to make his sword that are well that you can actually do. See. I love I love how detailed this is. Literally, this is so detailed. Tamashi know how to make a figure so well detailed. And other times not. I love this. They put a lot of love to to uh, tokusatsu uh, figure arts in the release. Well, some more than others. Minus the negatives for how I feel about about uh, about about their products for like for like the line. This is a uh, this is one of the positive. It's so detailed. It looks just it feels like it looks like it's the exact same weapon from the show. Now I feel like now I feel like I'm in the mood to watch Wizard. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that it could open like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing not only a sword. It's also a gun. Boom. This is uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> there's not there's not a, there's not enough I can say about the weapon that uh it has it has a cool feature that you can turn into a sword or a gun. It's up to your preference. Personally, personally for me, I'm not gonna keep them like that because well, I don't have a reason to. Um, anyway, moving on. Here we have both uh, open hands. Both of these hands you can use for like, for like a, oh sorry. Hold on. You can use both of these hands like for a. You can use both these hands like for finishers, for wizard. He has, Open, yeah, like open palm hands for jazz hands. So, okay, to be fair, Wizard does not use his fists a lot in his fight choreography scene. No, he uses his weapons <laughs> in his feet, and that's it. All right, all right, and magic too, but still. Here we have his right hand that, uh. Sorry, his left hand, my bad. So you can put like any rings on there. Perfect for me, I kept it on his right hand because that's accurate to the show. But yeah. And here's his right hand. You can put the ring on. Here's his right hand that you can put the ring on if you feel like it. Razor has so many hands, so many goodness. He comes with one fist. Not know why they gave him one fist. And he comes with more hands that I do not care for. Wow. Okay. Wonderful. So, uh, on to size comparison with this guy, cuz. Yeah, there's a lot to compare with. 
Well, somewhat. But anyway, here 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 for Voldorad. The last figure that I reviewed last last week. Love this figure. Here he is with Got Shard. Alright. Here he is with Piccolo. Come on, stand Piccolo. Oh, fun fact. Uh, the White Mage in Kamara Rizzer, his Japanese voice actor is Piccolo. And I, I just, I just remember that because this, this, this pair right here is pretty funny because of that one reason. Man, if I had a nigga every time I find out a Dragon Ball voice actor been in Kamen Rider or, or any Tokyo show. It's funny though because it happened a lot. Not just three times, a lot. And here he is with the, with the new Scholar Vegeta. I'm going to review this figure. Actually, he's actually the next figure I'm going to review because, wow. Uh, we got to talk about him because there are a lot of things I felt Tamashi messed up with this figure. All right. And just because he had like, just because he had like somewhat of a crossover with these, with these riders. Here he is with x -Aid. Here he is with about the Fies Man. Here he is bro. I had to do this because it makes sense. Here he is with the goat himself. Oh, sorry. Here he is with the goat himself, Decayed. Ooh, all right. Here he is with Zio. And here he is with uh, Kiryu Red because we're all super heel time. Sorry about that, I thought, I thought the feet was loose. And that's my thoughts. And and that's well all the figures and that's all the figures I compare him with. Compare him with. I compare him with, my bad. I'm sorry, it's super hot right now this week, so I so forgive me if I'm like stuttering a lot. But yeah, what are my final thoughts on the figure? He's good. And at the same time, I felt like he could have been a little bit more better. I mean, good, good articulation, good possibility, but at the same time, his, limit, his limitation is what drew me off. He's not bad. He's not the worst. He's more of a B-tier figure, if I can say. And I'll say this, be careful of his accessories because those are so small and tiny. You have no idea how many times I almost lost his wizard ring because of me posing him or me taking pictures or me playing around with the figure off camera. Yeah, just be careful. Just be careful of those. The figure's good. I'll give him a B if I had to. You can buy yours from Ninja Games. <laughs> you can buy, he's retail. By the way, he he's like he's not P band or anything. He's a he's a retail release, so so you're good there. And uh yeah, I bought my Vanilla game, but uh, he's on, but he's still available on there. If, any, uh, if anyone else is interested in buying him, but yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. My my name is Aaron. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social medias in the description. 
subscribe. And again, subscribe to the channel. My goal this year is to reach a thousand subs. And with you guys' help, I know that we can do it. I feel it though. That that's that goal's gonna happen this year. And uh I know that not a lot of you guys are subscribed to my channel. Let's change that, shall we? Subscribe to my channel. Again, follow all my social media description. Put the notification button on. And wait for my next video. My next review is gonna be on the Namek Saga uh well my next review is gonna be actually on this Namek Saga uh new Scholar Vegeta. Because yeah, we gotta talk about this guy. And I got a lot of things to say. Not very good ones. Because whew, I think Tamashi dropped the ball for the first time on the Vegeta figure. Yeah, that hurts because that's my favorite character right here. But yeah, uh, follow all my social media description. Subscribe to my channel. Put the notification button on. And uh. Yeah, share this video. Share this video with enough with a lot of friends and family. And yeah, my name's Aaron. I'm out. Have a nice day. Enjoy the pictures. Bye bye. Me and I'll try to say bye bye in Japanese. Bye bye.